Oh, okay. We're just gonna direct it. That's not all that super, but sure. Yeah, we're like a, a super visor. <laughs> oh, hey, Godzilla. <laughs> we have to stop Godzilla. I, I thought we were just trying to catch a purse thief. What's up guys, welcome to Help the Hero, a game where you try your best to be a superhero. Except trying isn't really what matters. You know, like, there is no close enough when it comes to stopping Granny from getting hit by a dump truck. So by the end of this, we might just end up being a serial killer in spandex, you know, no promises. It probably is a good idea for us to start things off by reading about other superheroes, but I don't know if we want to be learning from a guy called Power Star. You know what I mean? Like, he looks like a dollar store version of Superman. I need to make a mask. Okay, I mean, at least we took away one valuable lesson. Protect your secret identity. So let's go ahead and take these scissors and jam them into the paper bag that's right up against our eyes. <laughs> Which cape should I choose? I don't know, man. Can you still see the options? You didn't just go and steal Daredevil's shtick, did you? One, two, three, four. No, he still got all of his eyelids. So I guess we can finish our transformation into the knockoff of Dollar Store Superman. Yeah, learn from the second best. It's time to hit the streets. Evil doesn't sleep. Especially in the middle of the day. Do we want to use the door or do we want to use the window? I kind of want to pull an advanced maneuver and use the window. You know, I know it's my first day, but we got to do something heroic, hoping that we aren't on the second story. Uh, okay, so it, it definitely wasn't an origin story that Sony's going to make a movie about every few years, but if, if anyone asks, we could just lie. What do we have going on over here? An aggressive dog is threatening a cat. Okay, I mean, usually superheroes would try to save a different kind of pussy, but this'll do, this is a good start. So do we want to muzzle the dog or distract it with a stick? I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, that dog is built like a refrigerator. If we try to muzzle that thing, we are guaranteed to become a sacked lunch. I'm gonna distract it with a stick. We can just pull a branch clean out our ass and then throw it down the street. The poor thing's stuck in a tree. Okay. Uh, phew. I mean, I thought that our special ability was to guide craft scissors with superhuman precision, but apparently we can just pull anything out of our butt. Do we want a net or do we want a ladder? They're usually called bug nets, not cat nets. So how about we go with the ladder? Again, is that come and clean out the pooper? All right, we're gonna climb up and get ourselves stuck. The fire department is going to have a laugh at this one. Oh, hold up a minute. So there is a right answer and a wrong answer. So if I had chosen the blue cape or the front door, how would have that resulted in me dying? I mean, that would have been a much more interesting origin story. But if anybody asks right now, we'll just tell them we were bitten by a radioactive bag. Okay, I I'm working on it. Right now, though, I need to get a cat out of a tree. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, you could have jumped out of that tree at any time. And now you're hungry, of course. Can you please stop pulsating on my crotch? Th again, wrong kind of pussy. <laughs> do we want to give you fish bones or do we want to give you milk? I don't understand why we would give it fish bones. Usually you would give it the fish, it would leave the bones. I guess I could just go ahead and milk my behind to give you some <laughs> fresh butt milk. Mm, yeah, it's the good stuff. It's all in a day's work. Oh no, Granny. We have to help the little old lady cross the street. I literally started this video by saying that there are no in-betweens when it comes to Granny getting hit by a truck. Like, either she does or she doesn't. We've got two options. Is it gonna be a parachute or roller skates. I mean, can I go with both? 
give her the skate so that she can scoot over, but if she trips and falls, instead of breaking her hip and pressing her life alert, then she's got a backup shoot. I, I think I'm gonna go with the skates. Hopefully. Okay. I mean, the shagging wagon or the mystery mobile, whatever it is, it got into a fender bender, but could have been worse. Who's this idiot? Oh, yeah, my purse, my retirement check. They've been stolen. We have to catch the thief. Do we want to use our electric scooter or our skateboard? Gotta be an electric scooter, right? There's no way we're gonna follow him on a skateboard. Uh, yep, officer, don't mind us. I'll, I'll get the thief. You just keep an eye out for skateboarders. You won't get away from me. And my potato or caltrops? Why do I get the sinking feeling that it's gonna be potato? And that the caltrops are probably not gonna stop him, but they will stop me. This is why every morning when I leave the lair, I always charge up my scooter and grab my high-speed chase potato. I will admit I've never actually used this thing before, so I'm not really sure how it works. Are we just gonna beam him in the head with it? Or... Oh no, we're gonna plug his exhaust. Okay, yeah, you better fear me. I don't even have a superhero name. We'll come up with a super cool name as soon as we catch this bad guy. Toxins, we need to plug the hole with something. Or, hear me out, we take a little sip first. Just a small one, just enough to get another power that hopefully doesn't involve our sphincter. <laughs> Do we want to plug it with a thick letter H or tape? Uh, tape, I guess? Go ahead and, and tape that up. Yeah, uh oh, ha. Uh, Hmm, that is an ability that doesn't involve our butthole, but I'm pretty sure we would get a lot of jobs in Japanese movies, in which case it might involve other buttholes. <laughs> Rookie mistake. I should have known that the solution would obviously be the giant pink letter H, which is a piece of gum, and we blew the bubble through our bag. We need to pull the car out! There are people inside! Okay... We've got a couple of crane options. <laughs> Listen, man, you might want to bend over and stretch a bit if we're gonna go for a crane. Let's go for a magnetic one. These are usually used for picking up cars. Right? Oh! Okay! We're just gonna direct it? That's... not all that super? But sure? Yeah, we're like a, a super... Visor. <laughs> oh, hey, Godzilla. <laughs> we have to stop Godzilla. I, I thought we were just trying to catch a purse thief. Do we want to hit him with an atomic bomb or a banana? Again, you would think it would be atomic bomb, but I, I actually, I, I think he's largely atomic, isn't he? Let's go with banana. Maybe he's just angry because he's hungry. Oh, oh, no, it, it, it meant King Kong. Yeah, there's a huge ape in the city. Everything will be fine. Will it? So did that purse thief just get away after? How do we put out the fire? Tell him to stop, drop, and roll. It, it's just one guy. The building is fine. <laughs> King Kong didn't do this. He's just an idiot. Are we going to hit him with a wrench or with a... Hammer. Oh no, we're gonna hit the fire hydrant with a wrench or a hammer. We could try hitting him though, knock some smarts into him rather than just have him standing there waving as he burns. Let's go with the wrench. You use a wrench on a fire hydrant. We'll get some water up there. It's only the second story. It's not like the water is gonna give us a concussion. Who could have guessed that a paper bag isn't the most protective headwear? Fine, we'll use the hammer to hold on sir. Water's coming. Maybe I can't come up to you. My suit is very flammable. Oh There's someone there Uh, I Was gonna say they might be banging, but I don't think they would chain themselves inside Do we want to cut them loose or burn them loose? I kind of want to try burning them loose. There's definitely a higher chance of failure but there you go. It's, uh, 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 Captain Star Power Star, was it? I don't even remember. 
<laughs> we have to go inside. That, that, that man taught me everything that I know. Um, let's give you a pizza? You could be cool, right? A little, uh, 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 sidewalk pizza? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Ooh. That was a good thing. We brought the Ninja Turtles to beat the crap out of them. <gasps> Why did we need to go inside the bar? I'm really sorry about that, mister. What'd you forget here? I don't think I frequent this establishment. And the guy out front, he wasn't a bad guy. He's just doing his job as a bouncer. He, he didn't deserve some kind of teenage mutant ninja ass beating. <laughs> what did I forget here? Uh, Robocop or the Terminator? I think I forgot the Terminator. Not a big fan of cops in this neighborhood. Ooh. Okay, well that guy got slapped into the future. Despite just asking if he could help me, really? The bull is bucking. Yeah, that's what they do. Should be a little bit more concerned with it sparking. I am not throwing a bucket of water on that thing. Let's go ahead and try to lasso it. Okay, we're two for two. Who's always locking the doors? Why are you talking like you're always here? Uh, I'm gonna try cutting through. I don't think you know how to pick a lock. Maybe you can cut through one though. Hey, I, I think we're getting better. That one was flawless uh, other than, you know, Beating the crap out of guys for no reason. Oh, we didn't get away, or at least not yet. Laugh it up, I'll still catch you. So maybe that last place was actually protecting him? Trying to get me off his trail? I hope, otherwise I just randomly assaulted a bunch of people. <laughs> so do I want to cut through the chain link fence or throw a vial of chemicals at the chain link fence? Throw the corrosive liquid at the thing full of holes with the bad guy standing behind it? I like the way that sounds. Okay, that didn't really go according to plan. You can't see anything in this smoke. Where did he get a smoke grenade? It's a very well-equipped purse thief. Do I want to blow it away or suck it up? I don't think you can vacuum up smoke. Let's go with a fan. This is a big fan to pull out of the keister, but my superpowers are working. That guy got away in the world's smallest car, but <laughs> I've got the Terminator. Do you notice how Robocop isn't doing anything to stop the thief, but the Terminator is here and he's gonna drive? I don't trust myself to drive. <sighs> There's just no predicting that. If I was that purse thief right now, I would be absolutely crapping myself. We don't have time to get stuck in traffic. So do we want to pretend to be a police officer or wear a propeller hat? I kind of want to see what would happen if we wear a propeller hat. Probably nothing or everything because there was a police officer back there standing around doing nothing to stop the thieves, but to do everything to make sure nobody is impersonating him doing nothing. <laughs> so do we want to use a shotgun to stop him or a grappling hook? I mean, Arnie is definitely used to using shotguns, but I don't really want to blow this guy's head off, so maybe we'll go with the grappling hook? Okay. And he got on a train. Really? Slipper on the floor or the brakes? What? S slipper on the floor or the... What does that even mean? Are we going to wedge a slipper on... I assume he means the brakes or the gas. But the, the pedal or the gas was not mentioned at all there. I'm going to go with the gas. I want to speed... Okay, yeah. There's just a thing in the road stopping people from, you know, driving. I don't know how a slipper on the brakes is gonna help us, but I suppose we could get on the train that way. Okay, I, I was thinking we were gonna stop things, but this chase is gonna continue. I need to get inside the train. Oh, I'm coming for you, purse thief. Do I wanna use my grapple hook, or do I wanna use a magnet? Something tells me using a magnet on a train track is a bad idea. Let's go with the grapple hook. 
Hopefully we can get to that door or through that door. Oh, um, that's a bomb. There's no time. The bomb is about to explode. Is it? Is it really? It, it's not counting down. <laughs> I think it's stuck on 15. We might have a second. Cut the red wire, cut the blue wire. Red wire, blue wire. Uh, red wire is usually the one that would make things explode, so there you go. Easy enough. Hands up. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, please don't shoot. This bag is not bulletproof. Do we want to stop the train? Or do we want to put out a fire? Oh, I see. It's probably like a, an extinguishing system above. Yeah, that's probably better than making him like, jerk and pull the trigger. I don't really want to get shot in the head. Hopefully, maybe. Instead, I'll just get knocked out by the water. He's fine though, despite the fact that he's like two feet taller than me. I guess it's just the difference in head protection. You know, he's got a very sturdy balaclava, whereas I have a, a lunch bag. <laughs> Stop the train! He's a little slow, he's not a... Oh, okay. Now he's just gonna shoot me in a crate. I'm afraid of the dark. Calm down, I'll think of something. Oh yeah, like there, there aren't any air holes or windows in a crate, so it would be pitch black and you can't shoot what you can't see. So I'm gonna go and illuminate the place, of course. Do we wanna use a lighter or a flashlight? I'm wearing a paper bag on my head which is probably incredibly flammable. So let's go with the flashlight. Where's the gun? If we take the lid off, we're in the clear. Why are we helping him all of a sudden? Uh, do we want to use a flare gun? <laughs> or some kind of boxing bag gun? Again, paper bag on head. Incredibly flammable. Don't need a flare bouncing around in here. So like, I've been pulling a Batman up until this point. I've got grappling guns working. We, we might as well go ahead and use a, a punchy gun. Enjoy staying here, Brett. We ran away again, but I won't give up so easily. Ungrateful, I'm telling you. So do we want to chase after him with some kind of crude moon boots? <laughs> or what looks like a boat in a bag? I almost can't resist trying a boat in a bag. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a, a boat in a bag. I needed to get out of the crate, I see, and jumping wouldn't have worked for whatever reason. <laughs> for a second there, I thought we were just gonna paddle to the front of the train. You can't hide from me, genius. There are only so many carts to this train. I'm sorry, you don't have a ticket. Where are you taking him? I need him! We, how did we get on a plane? We got on a train, and then we got into a crate, and then when we got out of the crate, we were on a plane. I didn't realize they got loaded onto a plane like the five seconds we were in there. So, do we want to follow him with a paraglider or a parachute? Uh, these both seem like they could fail. Let's go with a parachute. Oh, oh wait, I really hope that isn't a backpack full of junk. Oh, I'm gonna crash, don't panic, I'll help you. Don't ask why, I just will. I'm gonna strap you to me. Two parachutes seems a little bit too easy. <laughs> Can you help me down? Fine, I'll do it myself. Again, where are you gonna hide? I would imagine this is a deserted island. I, I can work scissors really well. I'll just go ahead and cut those down. Nope. I can cut out eye holes next to my eyes, but I, I can't cut myself out of a tree, apparently. I'm stuck in a tree a foot and a half off the ground. You really wouldn't think that the answer is to cut the tree down. But apparently, I'll cut a branch, sure, because you can breach that somehow. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Have mercy, I used to be a monkey too. You really couldn't hit him with the I'm kind of friends with your larger cousin, Kong? Ever heard of him? He's the, the king kind. Can we bribe him with a chest? Here's some treasure. Yeah, no, skedaddle. That's mine! All right. Sure. So keep an eye out for Davy Jones and little Kong. This smoke looks dangerous. Does it? 
looks weird. It, it's kind of just gyrating. <laughs> Do we want to hair dryer it or push a mystery button? Crap. Uh, uh, like th there's there's clearly some kind of like, hidden trap door here and I have a strict press all buttons policy, so let's try that. Oh, it's the button. Okay. It turned off the smoke. What was that? Was that a lost reference that I didn't get? The thief got away in the boat. What boat? <laughs> I feel like I'm having a brain aneurysm here. Do we want to swim after him or do, oh, we want Wilson. Because Wilson is gonna solve things, right? Oh, it actually did. Get in, I'll give you a lift. I owe you. All right, we got Tom Hanks, we got Wilson, we did everything coming up Millhouse. Let's go get that thief. We're hot on his trail. Uh, a little too hot, actually. Do we want uh, glass or a parasol? Oh, we, we don't want a glass. Because we're gonna drink ocean water, aren't we? Let, let's just go with a little shade. <laughs> Genius. Hello, Siren. Oh, her song will destroy us. I thought she was a mermaid. Do we want to, uh, it's only one pair of headphones. I need to protect three of us. <laughs> so let's hit her with a fish. I don't think slapping her with a fish, oh. Okay, shove a fish down her gob, sure. W w why not? We need to get on the ship. Uh, do we want to climb up a chain? Or do we want to like suction cup up it? Again, I want to get all three of us up there. There's no way that he, uh, being Wilson, can use suction cups. Maybe we can lift him up on the chain though? Oh, ooh. Right, usually anchors on the ends of chains when it comes to boats, except for ours. We're currently on level 13. I want to say the 10 of the levels I've played, I've gotten the first two right and the third wrong, which doesn't really mean anything to you guys, but to me, it means I have to watch an ad to restart. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, these TikTok ads are driving me crazier than the heat. I, I just want to get through this. Okay, we left Wilson behind. No, we didn't. <laughs> I really appreciate that. All right, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Help the Hero, guys. This is one of those super unpredictable, dumb games that I just have such an odd amount of fun playing, and Wilson is in the boat! We're good! Other than having encountered an ocean tiger. If you guys wanna see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to either save this cat or have it eat me. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.